You swallowed one came to swallow me. You are holding it in your mouth. We lift your name higher. You are God. You are great. I started a topic. Was it last two weeks? And I gave two points. I said, I'm going to give you seven points, seven reasons. And today I'm here to give you the third one. And remember our topic is seven weapons every believer needs to have. Seven weapons every believer need to have. And we read from Hebrew 11 verse 1. To five about faith. So the third weapon you need to have as a believer, as a Christian, is faith. Faith is that weapon that every believer needs to have. Faith is that fire that every believer needs to carry. Faith is that courage. That every believer needs. Faith is that defense that every believer needs to conquer. Faith is that strength that every believer needs to defeat every defeat. Somebody shout faith. Faith. You need faith to defeat defeat. Faith is life. Faith is courage. Faith is persistence. Faith is steadfastness. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things. You have not seen it. But faith has given it to you. You have not seen it. But faith has delivered it to you. Faith is action. Faith is manifestation of your heart desires. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. Without faith, it is impossible for you to testify. Faith is that testimony you have come here seeking for. Faith is that miracle that you need. There is no mountain that cannot be leveled or that cannot come down. When faith is at work. Faith does not see disappointment. Faith does not see failure. Faith does not see defeat. Faith does not believe in setback. Faith is more than conqueror. By faith, Abel offered to God a more pleasing and excellent sacrifice. And God testified of it. Everything you need from God today is anchored on your faith. Everything you are asking God for is anchored on your faith. There is nothing God cannot do for you if you are a man of faith. Jesus, a miracle worker, but he entered his own father's country, his own father's place. He could not perform a single miracle. Why? Because he looked at them. No faith. Jesus said to Martha and Mary, did I not tell you that even if, even though he is dead, he can still come back to life. And they say, no, Master, he's on the resurrection day. Jesus said, that's not what I taught you. That even now, if you believe, your brother Lazarus will come back to life. Faith is resurrection. I don't depend on the economy of this world. Because it's not working for me. The economy that is working for me is the economy of the kingdom that created me. And that is where I have built my hope. That is where I have surrounded my faith. And my heart is there. My mind is there. My spirit is attached to it. No matter the trials of this life, a man or a woman of faith cannot cry. No matter the challenges, no matter the tempest. The other day Jesus was in the boat and the disciples too were there. And suddenly there arose a tempest in the sea. And all of them were crying. And Master was there, relaxing, sleeping with the heaviness of the tempest in the sea. Human being was inside that boat, in the middle of that troubled sea, sleeping. Immediately Jesus woke up, 
it's a lady that became nice everywhere. Immediately, everywhere became kind. Today, put your faith at work. Tomorrow, put your faith at work. Forever, let faith be your watchword. You are here today to receive from God. Like I always say, your deliverer is here. But there are things God will do for you. And there are things you will do for yourself. Jesus commanded that they should roll away. They should remove that stone before he now shouted, Lazarus, come forth. There are things that you have to do for yourself and there are things that God Almighty, only him can do it for you. And that thing you will have to do for yourself today to go home with your heart desires, to go home rejoicing, is that you must, you must wake up in your faith. You must also put your faith at work. As you are in the presence of God, don't be faithless. Don't be an unbeliever. Be a believer. Have faith. There are some people that, even before they will enter this auditorium, because they came prepared, as they cross that gate, their sickness, they will not see it again. Why? Because they already made up their mind that that place I'm going to, I'm going to see my Jesus there. And so the angel of the church identified identified them the spirit of god with them was there when they made the decision that that place they are going to is their final bus stop but there are many people that will go to church but they have not made up their mind that that place that meeting is their final bus stop and that is why you see somebody can go to a place of miracle a place where god the father son and holy spirit is dwelling and yet his life will not change I want to tell us today that all we need is faith. No matter the problem you came here with, no matter the challenges, faith can solve it. Me, I don't believe that anything can be beyond repair or beyond solvable or can be unsolvable. I believe that everything is possible. Bible says, unto him that believe, unto him that have faith. So that problem you came here with, all you need to do now is to say to yourself, I came prepared. And God will not take his place in your life and do what only him can do. Remember, you cannot help yourself. And that is why you have come here seeking the Lord. And God cannot do it without your faith. Your faith is needed for you to be delivered. You cannot testify if you are not delivered. So your faith is important so you can testify. Rise up. You swallowed one came to swallow me. You are holding it in your mouth. We live to name.